Not or shake reviews. Willie not or Willie shake. It's showtime. Hi, Johnny here. Welcome to another thing of Not or Shake Reviews. Not if it's good, shake if it's not so good. Either way, you should check it out because you might find your new favorite movie. Hey, if you like this video or any video I've ever done in my life, do me a favor, like this, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. I want to know what you thought of the movies that I reviewed. Do you agree? Do you disagree? This and that. Subscribe. Today's review is going to be Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Unfortunately, I hate to say it. It kills me to say it. I love the original. It's definitely one of my favorite movies. It holds up for so long. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice gets a shake from me. One of the problems is, is they got a lot of stuff going on just for the sake of it going on. There's like three storylines in this one movie, and they all kind of just go, okay, like it lands so flat. It's just so anticlimactic when these other threads of the story is resolved that you just don't really care. Michael Keaton, love Michael Keaton to death. He's not Beetlejuice in this one. In the original one, it said that he improvised most of his lines. I don't know if it's true. Read that IMDb, but you can just make things up on IMDb. But they said he was improvised. A lot of the stuff he made up. In the first one, he was very manic. It was he, he was this unpredictable force. This one, his character seems very written. I have no idea if that makes sense, but it was. He's in 15 minutes in the first one, and apparently he's in the same amount of time. In the first one, couldn't wait to see him. Couldn't wait his for his next appearance. Couldn't wait how he interacts with every character in the movie. This one, I'm like, nah, I don't care. I, I don't care. It was just a very... It was like a diet Beetlejuice, but like super diet Beetlejuice. Like, I, I, if you haven't, if you're not... Rewatching the first one, rewatch the first one, and then rewatch this. It's like the characters are night and day. And the same thing with every with all the characters in this one is that I, I just think after for so long they forgot how to play these respective characters. And one of the big things with movies is is you gotta you gotta care about your characters and you really care about anybody in this movie unfortunately so that kind of sucked uh, one huge positive because i try to look for the positives and everything is all this stuff is old school makeup stop motion uh special effects all that stuff i appreciate all that very much i'm forgetting his name this is a little bit of a spoiler but Charles Dietz is actually in this more than I thought he would be. I thought he was just going to be a throwaway line. They trash this dude. Like, they go in hard. Like, I mean, rightfully so. I mean, unless you're a group of people that think otherwise. But they go after this dude. And I was just very surprised that they kind of went after I, I'm probably overdoing it, but I thought it was like, oh my god. So that was interesting. But yeah, overall I was I was just kind of I left the theater like Yeah. I mean it, it's hard, man. That movie is such a classic. It's it's 30 years later. It's and that was lightning in a bottle. And I think what these movies need to stop doing is trying to recapture that lightning in the bottle because they all have their own little Deo sequence. And I'm like, when is this over? This is too long. This this sequence is just, it's not, it's not working. And it, like, day, watching Deo is like watching magic. Just the way that scene starts and ends is just that is like the definition of movie magic. This was like, I want to go home. The movie isn't terrible, but uh, you know, if you, if, you, if you take your brain, if you go like, listen, I know that this is not going to be Beetlejuice. I know it. You might love it as much as the first one. Highly doubt it, 
but I, I, I think it's going to be nearly impossible to have that feeling. I, I maybe I, I'm just not realizing it, but I, with all the stuff they could have been nostalgia, nostalgic with, I feel like they toned down the nostalgia, which I kind of give them a little tip my hat. Yes, there is some of the things that you know it was like okay, you know, got to do the nostalgia bait. But I do think there were, like, things that were just like, nah, he's going to say that line that he said in the first one. <laughs> they kind of toned that down. So I give a nod to that. But overall, man, I was disappointed. All righty. Thanks for cringing. Next week is... I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what's coming out in the month of September. But I have no idea why this movie... They didn't open, have this movie in October. I, I don't understand movies with holidays there's like one to my knowledge i think two horror movies coming out in october and i guess you know competition whatever but it's just so silly to me anyway uh it's a shake for me subscribe i'll see you next week all right thanks for cringing bye thanks for cringing